Word is, if you weren't invited down into that company area down there for the Pathfinders, you didn't go there to visit them. That's just the word. Anyway, we're heading out this morning to a combat assault. I'm not sure which Pathfinder that is on that particular helicopter. There was three or four of us that went out to this particular fire base we're going on. I bought the Super 8 camera from Snagglepuss. That could be him on there, I'm not quite certain, don't recall. Anyway, bought it from him for 20 bucks. Little did I know that I would be putting these films on a place for everybody in the world to see. But here we have Camp Eagle, 1969. It's a Cobra gunship there sitting on its pad. And I'll be filming a lot of Vietnamese village going out. They lived in little tin shacks around there. Pretty early. You know, not much movement going on around down there. Could be a storage area too. I don't really call it. It's outside the company area, so I'm not quite sure what it is. Got the road going in. They're always a treat when it rains. They're dust when it's not, and it's solid mud when it rains. I remember going on my first combat assault, Sergeant Tim Malicote, a.k.a. Pop Top, he trained me. Got on the first helicopter with me. Well, nobody ever explains anything of what's going to happen or what goes on when you're going in on a combat assault. You just figure you're going in. You don't know too much about what's happening. Your heart rate is 5,000 miles an hour pounding out of your chest. But other than that, you know, you're, you're pretty comfortable. This is the door gunner here. The M60 machine gun. There's one on each side. And we'll be going in the uh, fire base. That's Sleepy there. Robert Conway. We all had our call signs. My call sign was Maverick. Sergeant Alicotes was Pop Top. Anyway, Pop Top had trained me, and he never told me a thing anyway what was going on. I think he's still laughing at this day. May he rest in peace. He left this world a few years back. Three, I believe. Anyway, kind of interesting. You know, you're, you're just kind of looking at different hillside on the, on the way out. You know, it's, it's bomb craters, a little bit of everything, river, streams, creeks. Huts here and there, hutches, whatever you want to call them. Maybe it, I can't really tell what I was filming at that time. It was a very good film thing, but they didn't give us the best to work with, I guess, did they? <laughs> anyway, we'll be going into, I believe it's Firebase Cannon. I could be somewhat wrong on the, on the name. I, I just know we were going in for... Oh, I think it was seven day mission, five to seven days. They wanted to set up an artillery unit to fire off uh, some rounds into, I don't know, could have been Laos, Cambodia, into the Aisha Valley and just do some harassing. And then they were going to pull us back out after, after we had fired so many rounds or shot up the ammunition they brought out for the 105s and they'd be bringing us back. The problem was it started raining and it didn't quit raining for about 30 days. Anyway, that's a Cobra gunship. He's going along with us. We're just kind of flying out. That's over the countryside. I'm not sure if that's the ocean way back out there or not. I, I say is I don't remember too much about the whole scenario and what we did. I just know that the Cobra's getting there ready to make his run at the fire base. They uh, they prepped the fire base pretty good before they set us down. Um, I had done, I don't know, marking it there. Like I said, I had done maybe 15 of these, give or take. I'm not quite sure. Don't remember. Um, that's the fire base we're going in. They're prepping her pretty good right now. The artillery, the gunships, uh, they're shooting her up pretty good. That's a gunship making his run right now at the fire base. He's prepping it pretty good with his minigun and rockets and you name it. He's firing there. We're going to land right where they're shooting. We don't know if Anybody's on the ground, but the whole scenario is keep their heads down until we get in. And they're blowing her up pretty good. And we're going to get ready. We're 
we're going in. I know we're going to be landing here pretty quick, so I'll be setting the camera down. But they're still prepping it. It's getting ready here. <laughs> anyway, this is what you're not ready for. When that M60 opens up, on your first time out there and you don't know what's going to shoot, and you really don't know what's going to shoot because nobody tells you. And if they do, you don't suspect what's going on. But they just shoot the ever living crap out of the LZ. We've landed. We've got probably, I would say, give or take, probably 40 infantrymen on the ground now. And pretty much covered. We've secured the fire base. We're now bringing in the artillery um, individuals. We'll be bringing in mortar, platoon, uh, artillery. They'll be setting up some 105s. Uh, another video I have, we're bringing in Chinook uh, with uh, 105 ammo and stuff like that. You can tell it's pretty well, secure, pretty well secured by the way these guys get off of the chopper. And they're not used to it. They wait for the helicopter to land. The first, I can guarantee you, the first several helicopters that go in, including the one I'm on, I'm probably out of that thing. I'm probably out on a skid, and I'm out of it somewhere around five feet, maybe six feet off the ground, because we're the first ones on the ground, and we don't know what we're running into. But it's secured right now. It's kind of when you sit back, I look at it, I think about it, I kind of got a chuckle. You know. But we got it pretty well secured, and uh, there was no enemy on the ground. It was a nice cold LZ. No red smoke got popped today. <laughs>